my name is Maria Agazarian, and I'm a librarian at Swarthmore College. And today I'm going to be showing you how to turn almost any picture into a coloring page. Um, this is something that we do every year as a part of Color Our Collections. We scan uh, pictures from our books and we turn them into coloring pages. And then we share those coloring books uh, with folks from all over the world. So in order to make these coloring pages, what you're going to need is Photoshop and a picture and a bit of time on your hands. If you don't have Photoshop and you are a current faculty or staff member, you can go to ITS's website, go to install software, and find Creative Cloud and download it and install it that way. So here I have this lovely picture of campus, which I'm missing very much right now. Um, and I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. Um, this method is not very scientific. Um, it requires a bit of patience, but it can also be a kind of fun and soothing way to pass the time. So the first thing that we're going to do is click on this layer and right click and duplicate the layer. This will allow us to um, be able to work with it and then go back to the original if we like. And then I'm going to click this eyeball to hide the background. We're going to go to image, adjustments, desaturate to strip the color out of it. And then we're going to adjust the levels. And I think it's easiest um, to adjust the levels for each section of the picture. I can show you what I mean. If we have the whole picture selected, there's three carrots here, black, gray, and white. And as you drag them, the color changes as long as you have this preview box checked here. So pulling the white to the left adds more white, pulling black to the right adds more black, and the gray adjusts it in between. And if you do this adjustment and you say, hey, picture looks pretty good, I'm gonna print it out, that's awesome. Um, I found most success when I work with each section of the picture by itself um, when it comes to things like photographs. For something that's a drawing or um, even a woodcut or something like that, it's super easy um, to just do the whole picture. So I have my lasso tool selected here, which will allow me to freehand select sections of the picture. And I'm going to section it out by the darkness of each part of the picture. So like I'm going to do the building first. The lovely bell tower, these chimes I miss very much. Go to image, adjustments, levels, and I'm going to try and make the sky bright white, but also try to keep some of this detail. I love how the um, bricks and the black and white and the gray scale do still have variation in shading. I think that's really beautiful. And I want to try and maintain that without washing it out too much. So I like this. And then you can click anywhere in the picture to deselect from that selection. Um, the leaves I found to be very tricky. So we're going to try and tackle this next. Oops. And I did a bad selection, so we're going to try this again. And this is basically the whole technique. And you keep doing this until it's about as much as you can stand, um, and until you have something that you like. And if this is a little bit too much work for you, um, don't worry, because the picture that I made the other day will be made available for download. And you can just print that one. All right. So that's how you make a coloring page out of any photo. When you're done, hopefully it'll look something like this. Take care, stay safe, and be well.